Metacognition. I had no idea what that was for the vast majority of my teaching career and I suspect I wasn't alone. Um, so if you're still struggling trying to grapple with this abstract concept I'm trying to keep this practical as much as I can. So you've got this lovely little grid inspired by Dr. Taryn Moyer. Um, knowledge of self, so knowledge of how we process, how we learn information. Knowledge of the task in front of me knowledge of the strategies that I can use to help solve some problems. And then when we build into this, you know, the content that we're learning, our motivation, our intrinsic, extrinsic, I mean, even those two concepts are hard to grasp, intrinsic, internal, external, uh, you know, for, for gratification, you know, rewards, those kind of things. Um, we can start to move into this self-regulation, uh, you know, the real critical thinking skills where we can plan and monitor and evaluate and get on with it ourselves. But that takes a lot of effort if you're 16 years old. Um, so I guess um, in cognitive science, there's a phrase called transfer. And what that means is, I might teach you the Pythagoras theorem. You know it inside out. You can solve all sorts of formulas uh, in our maths lesson. But I now take you outside to the sports hall and we see a tennis ball stuck on uh, a window ledge maybe about eight meters high and we're standing three meters from the side of the building then we start to think about how we might apply what we know about the Pythagoras theorem in an unfamiliar scenario and this is where brilliant teachers make these theories these concepts uh, apply in real life situations so what else can I share with you so you've got your nine study skills if you know teach talk and you follow me you'll know this stuff um, I guess some big questions are um, what do these look like in your subjects? When are they introduced to your students? What do they look like in primary school, secondary school, or further education? And how do you bring them to life uh, in our classrooms? Now, most teachers will be familiar with these techniques. Some have a greater impact than others. Which ones? Uh, another thing from me is when we think about, um, you know, how we might develop metacognition, well, you know, um, what's the first planet in the solar system, I've activated some prior knowledge in your schema. And you can see how gradually the process from teacher-led to student-led might shift through these kind of phases. Another one from me is you've got this little traffic light system, just some reflection questions. You know, I know it's still the peak exam season, almost coming to an end, but if you're wanting to think about metacognition for the new academic year, hopefully just these four slides might just sow the seed and uh, help you grasp what I think is quite a tricky concept.